that I'm here. She planned it. But what do you want from me? What should I do exactly? I want to know who I am. Da, da, da. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, me neither. This is whacked. Listen, I don't know how to explain it. I have blurred memories, but they don't belong to the world's recent history. What does it mean? I remember the sea. The green fields. I remember the seasons. I don't remember the rain. I was not born in this century. Ooh, really? When were you born then? 1900s. But it's impossible. Nah. It's projected memory, isn't it? I know. And I'm going crazy over this. She's going crazy! <laughs> Should go crazy over pervy things as well. Okay, let's go to sleep now. Tomorrow we'll think about what to do, okay? Let's go to sleep together. I... May I sleep with you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Did you she even ever say it? Oops. What do I do now? Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't worry. I won't do anything to you. <laughs> I'd rather you did. Okay. She won't do anything to me? What a pity. Exactly. I go in the bedroom while she dresses again. Mm. Then, suddenly, she appears in front of me. How do I look? Wow. Uh, very well, I'd say. What is she doing with her body? It's like, weird thing. She's too kind of... She's too kind of broad and stuff for a chick. <laughs> but maybe that's a, that's how it comes and shit. <laughs> Sorry for borrowing one of Helen's dresses. It's incredible. They fit you perfectly. Yes, obviously. I can stretch my muscles and my skin the way I prefer, so I adapted myself to her shape. Uh-huh. So what I have in front of me is Helen's body with Tanya's face? Absurd. <laughs> Fuck, that's what it is. But I have to admit, it fits her better. Huh? What am I saying? Am I crazy? <laughs> yeah. I decide to switch the light off before other strange ideas come to my mind. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep peacefully tonight. <laughs> you did it. I'm still loose flat. We're late. We woke up late. <sighs> Luckily, I managed to sleep for a few hours at least. Yeah. Uh, who can be here at this time? I dress up quickly and I run to see who it is. Luke, what the hell are you still doing at home? Yeah. <laughs> I'm late. I'm late for work. I'm gonna get fired. But what time... Damn it, it's 11! And you didn't reply to any call! I ran here because I thought something happened to you and... Who is she? <laughs> My pervy mistress. Get your own, Tom. I know you're pervy, but you can't have mine. Uh-oh. Tanya. She's wearing another of Helen's outfits, but... It's a jogging suit. Woohoo! She looks better like that. Hi. You must be Tom, right? Oh, yes. Pleased to meet you. But who are you? My name is Tanya, and I'm Luke's cousin. My name is Tanya! <laughs> cousin? Hey, Luke, you didn't tell me that such a hot he was. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Oops! I mean that you had such a beautiful cousin. Yeah, baby. I never told you for very obvious reasons. I didn't want you to bother her like you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> Your usual pervy self, Tom. Bother? Not at all. It's just... I am astonished by such a beauty. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> okay, I think now it's time to go back to the office. Right, Tom? Yeah, it is. Definitely. I'll go jogging in the park. <laughs> huh? At the park? The one near here? Yes. Can't you see how I am dressed? Yeah, definitely, baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, isn't the park where he Before Tom was able to finish the sentence, I close his mouth and push him out of the flat. Better if Tanya doesn't know that Helen goes there, too. Yeah, damn right it is. Ha 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 ha, Luke! Yeah, he's found out I'm too charming. What's up? That is not your cousin, right? But why are you here? Did they give you a special permit? No, I simply had my lunch break earlier. I was hungry. You know how it is. Now don't pretend you didn't hear my previous question. 
That is what the famous Tanya looks like. The one you even called in your sleep. I can understand you well indeed. <laughs> She's not a real woman, though. Damn it. I really hope she and Helen will not meet at the park. Sorry, but they don't know each other, do they? I think Tanya knows about Helen. Uh, yeah, most definitely. Everyone knows about that slag Helen. Tell me something more about her. How long have you known her? It's been a short while. We still haven't done anything. Bum, bum. Yeah, right. She was there at your place. <laughs> Idiot! Not everybody's a maniac like you. Exactly. Not everyone's so perverted as you are, Tom. Jesus! Christ, you're a pervert. And you want me to believe that with a beauty like her in your place, you still didn't do anything? It's impossible! No, it isn't. I am not perverted. I'm in love with Helen. I don't know why I'm seeing Tanya. Hey, there is nothing wrong having a lover. It strengthens the couple's relationship and... Listen, stop telling me your theories. Uh, obviously, if you tell Helen anything, I'm going to cut your balls off. <laughs> yeah. Me? Heavens no. Nah, you became my idol now. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> the shy IT engineer who has two women like that. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, I can have more than one. Two, baby. Shut up. And so we arrive at the office. Why does Tanya want to go out now? Before, she was so concerned about hiding. And now she suddenly wants to go jogging at the virtual park? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Unless her true intentions are different. But what can they be? Just fucked. Just fucked. Just fucked. Fuck, 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 fuck. Another boring working day. Yeah. Work, Damn bitch. It. Time never passes today. Work, bitch. There I go. For the moment, I've finished. It's lunch break time. I can stay here in the office or go somewhere else. But I only have one hour. I can now go to Mark's laboratory if I'm interested in hearing his offer. I'm not sure about it, though. Bum, 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 bum. Stay in office. I decide not to go to the park. After all, I don't think Tanya would ever hurt Helen. Maybe she just wants to see her better. The park is full of police agents, so Helen is safe in any case. Yep. Thinking about it further, I think attending a meeting between them would be quite an embarrassing experience. Yes, it's definitely better to stay in the office today. Exactly. Even this other working day is over. Luckily, now I can go back home, but unaware of what awaits me. Yeah. Let's go home. Uh, Helen? Already here? Yeah, Helen, what are you doing? What are you doing to my place so early? The only thing preventing me from killing you is that I'm afraid of... her. Uh-oh. Huh? Afraid of who? What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about, Helen? Freaking demented woman. She's talking about me, honey. Ha 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 honey. You bitch! Why didn't you just call him? Ooh, too damning. I beg you. If this is a nightmare, please wake me up. Now listen to me carefully, Helen. I am not a human being. Yes, in fact, you're an idiot! <laughs> Helen's so cool. Very funny. As I was saying, I am some kind of robot. But, what? Tanya lifts her t-shirt, showing her navel. Woohoo! So what? My stomach is flat too! Wanna see? Look inside the navel. But, what is that? It's a robot purr thing. Uh, what's so strange? It seems normal to me. Yeah, as if an anal probe seems so normal. Don't ever look, you! <laughs> Don't be perverted! Please, Helen, I beg you. Just one quick look. Okay then, but just look at the navel. <laughs> it's funny how she can be jealous of a robot. If that's the point, he already saw me naked. Uh... What?! We didn't do anything! Well, and then can't you see? Damn, she has some kind of microchip in her navel? Yes, it's strange. What kind of trick is that? Yeah, what is it? No trick, I told you. 
If you don't trust me, you can rip a piece of my face off, so you can see what's below it. Yeah, no thanks. Ripping a part of your face off? Hmm, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> Helen, trust me. I saw her already in that condition, and it's not a pleasant sight. Fine then. Okay, you're a robot. But what the fuck are you doing here at my boyfriend's place? <laughs> oh my god, she's hilarious. And above all, couldn't you have been a male? <laughs> yeah, that would have been easy. I would have had to have gay sex instead. After saying that sentence, the three of us keep quiet for a few seconds. Then we start laughing. But I'm sure that Helen is angry as hell. Yeah. She's doing it. Helen, Helen's got a sex face on the gun. <laughs> In fact, after a few seconds, she gets serious again and asks. All right. Seriously speaking, I want explanations. And they better be good. Yeah, they better be good, Luke. Fess up. I... I'll leave that decision to Luke, but... The best thing is that you don't know more. <laughs> what? So I should be happy knowing that... Such a hottie stays at my boyfriend's place all day long? She's a robot! Hey, thanks. You complimented me. <laughs> Luke, what did you decide? I'm risking a lot exposing myself like this. You know this, right? Yeah, well, what'd you do in the first place? Damn it, what do I do now? Helen will want to know everything, for sure. And if I don't tell her, she's gonna torment me every time we meet. It may even be the end of our relationship. And honestly, she wouldn't be to blame at all. Who cares about Helen? On the other hand... Tanya seems to be risking everything in this moment. She's revealing her true identity to Helen. But why did she do that? If she wanted, she could kill both of us. Yeah, right. Uh. Helen, you know I do it all for your sake. Yeah. What? Don't you dare go telling me that! It's better if you don't know anything else. Yeah, it is. You know, you're right. Yeah, piss off, Why Helen. should I care? Since from this moment on, we are not together anymore. <laughs> no, wait! Wait, she's here? And now you expect me to go back home peacefully as if nothing is the matter? Yeah. And then what's next? Tomorrow night I come to your place and the three of us have an orgy? What else are you going to ask me now? <laughs> Calm down. You're out of your mind. No! If you really loved me, you'd tell her to leave. Or you would have already been to the police station to... Report her! <laughs> Helen, if you care about Luke or about yourself, don't even think about it. Do you hear that? She's threatening you! She's threatening us! But you? You want to protect her? You're the crazy one! <laughs> yeah, damn right. I'm. Woo! I love it! I love it! <laughs> she leaves, furious. Her reasoning works, though. Why am I still defending her if I don't even know what she wants from me? Because you're a pervert. Thanks, Luke. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ooh. Yeah, right, thanks. I feel like crap. I didn't want it to finish. Oh yeah, you did. Tanya tries getting closer to me, but I push her away vigorously. Ah. Stop that! Damn it! You managed to do that in the end! Sorry. Ooh. And now that you made me fight with Helen, what else do you want? I just want your forgiveness. And your body. <laughs> and your help. Richard is very dangerous. Richard? Uh. Yes. Richard Meyer IV, owner of several multinationals, including Nanotech. In a nutshell, your boss. What? So you fooled me! You knew everything! You told me a heap of lies! Yeah, bitch. That's not true. I simply said that you shouldn't know anything. I didn't tell you any lies. I just didn't tell you the whole truth until now. <laughs> Selective telling. Uh, let's listen to her. And what's going to happen now? Since you always know everything. Yeah. But why didn't you run after Helen? Because I'm not in love with her. What? I'd expect that kind of reaction from you at this moment. Instead, you're here talking to me? You know, maybe you're not as perfect as you think. In this case, I'm happy about it. Ooh, yeah. Tanya gets close to me and tries reaching for me with her hand. But then she pulls it back immediately 
embarrassed. Maybe she's not sure about my feelings. Ooh. I'm not sure either. My girlfriend just left me, and I... I didn't do anything. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like I don't care at all. Yeah, I don't care at all. I'm a bastard. <laughs> it feels like my relationship with her was nothing but a nightmare, which is finally over now. Crazy. I feel so confused, but... Pervy, at the same time. <laughs> at the moment, I'm more interested in listening to Tanya's story. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of town... Good day, Professor Mark. Good lord. Sounds like he's got a load of frogs in his throat. Hello, Mr. Richard. Hello, I'm, uh, I've got a bad case of files. Any progress on the research? It's going very well, I'd say. Uh, We're getting even better results than the previous prototypes with Julia, the new bionic woman. They made another one, shit. What? But that's not possible. Yeah, it's not possible, bitch. That's what I was thinking, too. But then I figured out what we were missing. The most important ingredient. The main element. It's the brain. The brain. The brain? Duh, that's what you just said. Don't repeat him. Yes. The only human organ we don't know nearly enough about. Even back in the 21st century, scientists assumed that the human brain could have extrasensory powers. Yeah, vaguely. Cut it short. I do not have time to hear the whole history of science. Well, in practice, the already incredible powers of our prototypes can greatly vary depending on which brain we install in them. So basically, the uh, prototypes like Tanya and Co. are friggin' psychics. <laughs> that means... They're psychic. Yes. The brain was not an insignificant factor like we thought. Julia shares the same hardware as Tanya, yet apparently she has much greater powers. And there's no risk of rebellion? No. This time we executed the imprinting perfectly. Tanya's case still remains a mystery. It better be. Another failure, and I would have been forced to make an unpleasant decision over you, Mark. <laughs> that sounds bad. Liquidate him in molten lava. No, no, that won't be necessary. <laughs> yeah, right. Very well. 8 p.m. at Luke's pervy flat. So, what do you want to do? Yeah, what do you want to... What are we going to do, Tanya? <laughs> I know what I want to do. <laughs> I... As I told you, I knew you were working at Nanotech, and... I wanted to shag you. <laughs> well, I was born in a secret laboratory located somewhere in Nanotech headquarters. What? You... Now I understand why you picked me! Yeah, exactly. Yes, because you're the lead programmer and you have lots of freedom. You can enter most places there, so I suppose we can figure a way to find and enter that laboratory as well. Ooh. Huh? You... you want to enter Nanotech's lab? But that's impossible! Apparently. Never say never. With a little help from you, I might make it. But we have to plan it carefully. Ooh. Hmm. I don't like this. Nor do I. Now go to work as usual. But during lunch break, Meet me at the park, and bring Tom with you. Okay. Okay, as you wish. Hope you know what you're doing. Exactly. Don't worry. I'm confident in my means. Bah. I'm nervous. What does she have in mind? Yeah. I think she cares about me, but what if I'm wrong? Maybe I should really try to know better who she really is. Or better, what? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Okay, welcome back to Bionic Hearts. I think this is going to be the last, uh, episode. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. 
I've uh, tried to uh, draw out so that uh, we get a uh, longer experience because with certain endings you can just kind of uh, do something almost straight away and ends the game which I didn't really want to do because otherwise what's the point so yeah so uh, we are on chapter 4 spy versus spy and we are currently in uh, Luke's office uh, let's work I try to do my best to behave normally. It's strange. I... I'm not worried about Helen. Damn, what's happening to me? Yeah, what is happening to you? You're not worried about Helen? You should be. I mean, I wouldn't be, but that's me personally. I think she's rather annoying. Blah. I'm nervous about Tanya's ideas, but... I like her. She's so determined, but at the same time, kind and polite. She never blames someone else for her mistakes, and she always tries to protect me. Uh, okay, I, th I think, like, it is, uh, traditionally a man's job to protect a woman, and I, I wouldn't exactly call Tanya polite at times, you know, she can be quite, uh, aggressive, like, try to break someone's arm, you know? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't call her polite all the time, but, I mean, he, uh... He's obviously uh, a bit deluded because it's into us kind of thing, so yeah. <laughs> he cannot see clearly because of his perviness. Ah, uh, damn. I must call Tom to ask him to come with me to the park. Better do it now. You never know. That crazy guy could disappear and go somewhere else. Yes, he could. And our, uh, defer our plans to come to fruition. We need him, apparently. Tanya says we need him. So, I wonder what that's about, really. I find him rather pervy and useless myself, but there you go. I am not Tanya. I do not know what she's thinking. Hi, Luke. Yeah, how yourself, perv? Hi, Tom. How's it going? No, don't ask him how he is. Where do you know he's pervy? Fine, thanks. Did you see Helen last night? No, I am, I'm not even bothered about Helen. You know, why would I see her last night? Because I am not even bothered about the woman. She is an annoying rat bag. Hmm. Now, why is he asking me that? I must think carefully about how to answer him. Yeah, we all know Tom fancies her. Yeah. Yes, she was with me. Why? Ah, uh, nothing. I encountered her this morning by chance, while going to work. She looked a bit troubled, and she didn't even stop to greet me. Ouch. Ah, uh, well, maybe she was late for work? Um, uh, Luke won't be bought by that, uh, little excuse. No, no. It was about 7.30 a.m., and besides that, she didn't even look at me. It was like she wanted to avoid me. Ouch. Did something happen between you and her? No, n not, not at all. Yeah. Let's meet at the park today. I'll tell you what happened, okay? No, that's not me. I don't want to meet with pervert. Today? But... Yeah. It's not as if he has a date or anything, is it? Honestly. Tom thinks his schedule's more booked than it actually is. You don't want to know? Uh, what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why you're saying that. Um, yes, alright. See you at the park then. Yeah, see me at the park, you bastard. Just be there. See you later. Yeah, already. Yeah. Hmm. I can't leave work now. I don't have fixed working hours as the area manager, but despite that fact, I've never left before lunch break. <laughs> I have to try to behave normally. <laughs> normally. All right, lunch break. Time to meet with Tanya at the park. Da -da -da, Tanya, baby. <laughs> Pervy time. Meanwhile, at the police station.